Rebecca. Rebecca, my dear, my darling, a surprise for you today. Ambassador Lando Malari here from Babylon 5. Yes. Now, Rebecca, my good and dear friend, as you can plainly see, I am not on Babylon 5 at present, nor am I on my homeworld of Centauri Prime, no. In fact, Veer, Veer has decided that I need to be on vacation. And so, after doing extensive travel research, as only Veer can do, extensive travel research, Rebecca, he has planted me here, here on planet Earth. And here I am in the good old U.S. of A., in Hurricane Alley, overlooking a pool, where they bring me large... Um, Tropical fruit drinks with tiny little paper umbrellas stuck in them. And God knows what else is in the drinks. I am, as you earthers say, Rebecca, letting my hair down. Yes. Letting my hair down. All right. Now, Rebecca, if the truth be known, I'm enjoying myself. It's not that bad. However, in the last week or so during my vacation here, I have been um, pestered, that's the word, pestered, uh, by constant communications from, what shall I call this person, um, a business associate of yours. Yes, I have been pestered on my vacation by a business associate of yours, Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca. My dear, I'm kidding you, of course. He is not a business associate of yours, and he has not been pestering me. He is, in fact, your sweet, loving father, Robert. Do you remember this man, Robert, your father? I hope so. He's been your father for a number of years now. And most importantly, Robert is, uh, what is the, uh, the earth expression? He's over the moon about you. He, he thinks the world about you. He, he, he thinks you're an amazing person. And uh, he has contacted me because he has told me that on December the 9th, you have a natal day coming up. Yes. Another trip, another revolution around your earth sun, taking off another year, my dear. And not just any year, this year, 17 years. 17 years. My goodness, my dear, 17 years, you're getting quite old now. I hope you haven't been uh, wasting your time, whittling away your days. I mean, 17 years is a long time. By now, you should be, well, I'm sure true, a very wealthy woman, right? You have stacks and stacks and stacks of money and, and jewels and crowns, yes, at this point. Or, or perhaps you, uh, your ambition runs to... Um, to science, and uh, you have discovered a great cure for your planet, and you are renowned and loved, or uh, maybe you, you're, you're, you're interested in politics, and so you are now a princess, or a queen, or a prime minister, yes? Or, or maybe you're just 17, and you've just been working hard and enjoying your life. Uh, ambition is not about uh, what life is about, my dear. It is, in fact, about who you love and how much you love. Yes? Yes. And I know you are greatly loved. It's not important what you are doing, although your father has told me that uh, you are an honest student. Yes? And uh, that... Uh, you are uh, interested perhaps in nursing or, or being a doctor, so you have a beautiful soul along with this ambition. I'm so happy to hear that. The health scientist, what could you do better than that? And yes, you have a father and a family that loves you, but you also have two dogs, <laughs> yes? Uh, Brady and Skye, and they love you, and you love them. I mean... Let's face it, Rebecca, life couldn't be much better. You, you're living, living it up, I'm sure. 
you should be very happy. And so for that reason, I am more than happy to give you a Centauri salutation. Say, thou too to you, my dear. Happy 17th birthday. And uh, may I wish you 71 more times 17 more. All right? Many, many lives of joy and happiness. And uh, continued uh, th- with the, uh, the, the, the wonderful passion and ambition at which you approach your life. Now, far be it for me to tell you what to do for your birthday. It sounds like your uh, father has already had plans uh, in, uh, to do something in Boston and to celebrate both your birthday and, of course, Hanukkah. So things can't get better than that. But what I'm going to suggest to you is... You're 17, get yourself a bottle of fine brivare, a good brivare, uh, on, on, on this uh, celebration in Boston. And s- get your friends and your family around you and celebrate. Live it up. Sing. Dance. Will you? Laugh a lot. Tell stories of uh, the passion with which you live your life. You are only 17, Yes. You have had many ups and downs. That is life, ups and downs. So you talk about your triumphs and how you have overcame the hard times. And you have family and friends around you. So you are like um, like a warrior cast. You people approach this, uh, the challenges together and overcome them. I am happy and proud for you. All right? May you make many travels around the universe and continue to enjoy yourself. And we are so proud of uh, the, uh, the hard work you put in to, to better yourself. All right? Proud of you. All right. That is from a, a big, happy 17th birthday from Ambassador Londo Molare and the Centauri Republic. All right? Yes, and Rebecca, happy birthday from Peter Jurisic, too. Really, your, uh, your dad said, said so many loving things about you. I know you're a terrific person, but most important, uh, you give so much to your life. As I said, honor student, uh, how hard you work, your ambitions to do medical or nursing couldn't be better. And uh, those two loving mutts you got, right? Brady and Sky. But more than that, you are loved greatly. So you're doing something right, Rebecca. Keep it up. And uh, all you need to do now is enjoy your day. All right? Sounds like your dad and your family. Keep friends close and, uh, and have a great day. Okay? Live it up. That's from Peter Jurisic. And, of course, uh, also from the old uh, sentimental Republican who uh, lives upstairs. Centare. Molari guy, you know him, yes? As he would say, you moon-faced assassin of joy, live it up. (laughs) All right, Rebecca, and thank you, Robert. Thank you for being B5 fans. Hope you enjoy this video, and have a great birthday on the 9th. Bye, my friends.